What up, y'all? It's your boy Juggle972 back here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Now, when we last left off, we entered the Northern Cave and making our way deep, deep, deep into the planet. So, without further ado, let's continue. There's only so much left over, but we've still got plenty to complete. Is this the center of the planet? A hero drink? An Imperial Guard? Hey, Cloud. Cloud, I found this. Whoa, hold on a second. Is that a second shield material? Hold on a second. Indeed it is. A remedy? Huh. A magic source? And of course, Yuffie doesn't have anything. Well, while I'm here, I'll save. Okay, now back to it. Alright, this is the last dance. Okay, let's get going. Alright, everybody, let's mosey. Damn, again? Stop saying it like a wimp. Can't you just say move out or something? Move out! Uh-oh. What? Look at the number. Fuck! They're coming out in full force! Hey, Cloud, you go first. Okay, I'm going alone. Shut up. I won't do something good with everybody back here. Barrett's right. You take two of us, you and go first. The rest will catch up later. Yeah. I wouldn't call it a practice run. This is the final run. Hmm. This might be fun to pass the time. They're coming. They're already in the floor next to us. Alright, well, I already know who I'm taking with me. All of you. Later. It's not a goodbye. <clears throat> yep, later. Alright, here we go. Now, Every last one of these steps is probably going to have a small uh, mini-boss. And here's one of them. This is the Iron Man. No relation to Tony Stark. Alright, let's go. And I believe his weakness is water. Hang on, let's big guard it real quick. Don't take any kind of chances. Aqualung. Yes, he hits really hard. And in a group too, but you know what? But the slash all materia? Well, correction, the mega all materia. We can do that too. Alrighty. Let's keep it going, shall we? That adrenaline uh, created a barrier for him, too. So, you know, it's probably not a good idea to use physical attack. 
Now, mind you, you can fight this guy again, too. Alrighty. Let's skip forward. HP plus level up. Alrighty. Oh! Alright, let's keep moving further down. Alrighty. Oh, the little platform. Beaten. Sorry, Tony Stark. We keep beating up your Iron Man. Oh, and a dragon zombie. Now, you can find these on the right side uh, path when you uh, go down. Best part is, though, he's weak against Holy. So all you need is an X Potion to beat him. Although it'll waste an X Potion, it'll guarantee an instant death. Alrighty. Now, normally I would recommend to be at a higher level. But. Alrighty. We're getting close. Keep going. Where are we? What the? Oh, look who it is! It's Genova! The true Genova! Genova Synthesis, everybody. Now, Genova has about 60,000 HP. One thing that you need to know about this fight is that this fight can change the course of the final battle. Now, what do I mean by that? Very simple. Well, not necessarily simple. Here's what's happening. Oh, hang on. Using Knights of the Round the Knights of the Round material, if you will, will increase Sephiroth's HP using Omni Slash and or Ultima. It can also change the course of the battle as well, too. So it's a good idea to make sure that Genova is beaten before she counts down to using Ultima. So let's buy a little bit of time while we watch. Now, once we get Genova's health down below 15,000 HP, she'll begin the countdown. Now, if it reaches zero, your XP and your um, AP gain as well, too. If you end up beating her, we'll lower as well, too. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Using Knights of the Round will give Bizarro Sephiroth an extra 60,000 HP and Sephiroth's final form an extra 80,000 sorry let me lower the uh, music a little bit too it'll give Sephiroth an extra 80,000 uh, XP as well too hit points I'm sorry so let's keep it going Make sure she suffers. Magic breath. Here we go. Alrighty. Now you'll have to forgive these, um, my commentary at the moment. I am currently doing this and fact checking everything is I don't want to give anybody the wrong information so you know what the right information always comes first comet 2 let's hit her hard Let's keep summoning, shall we? Now, 
Another great attack, too, is Flare. Keep Big Guard going, too. I don't care what anybody says. The original Bahamut still does great damage late in the game. Alrighty. Here we go again. Oh, here comes the countdown. Let's hit her with everything that we have. You can't give Genova any kind of leeway. Yes! Goodbye, Genova. Would you look at that? It's a hell of a level boost, everybody. And no money, too, because you're not going to need it. about that. The cries of the planet. Light. A light. Is this... Is this light holy? It appears so. Whoa. <sighs> Sid? God damn it, so we're all here. Uh oh. Who's that in the. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally see the true Sephiroth. No more illusions. No more dolls. No more figureheads. Right, Tails about to rip off. <laughs> A lot of people don't know if they can go on. Ugh. There. It's there. Holy is there. Holy materia is shining. Earth's prayer is shining. This isn't the end yet. And it says we need to split oh split our islands into two groups. Okay, so we're gonna keep this group going. Make sure everybody's healed. We'll use one mega elixir. Hang on, let me uh, adjust my audio real quick. Okay. And we have to make another party. So we'll keep Nanaki, Yuffie, and Vincent. Alrighty. Now you don't necessarily need both parties to win. So we're just going to uh, humor them a little bit. We're going to humor the game a little bit. Because I plan on just using one team. All right, everybody, let's go. <clears throat> Not only Aerith, holy is the prayer of Avalanche, of Mylene, 
and Dinah and everybody on this planet. Especially my baby girl. I'm going to see this through the end. For our future and that of the planet. I understand now, Grandpa. This is my mission. I won't let the live stream or the planet wither away. Aerith's memories. Our memories. We came to tell you. Our memories. Come, planet, show us your answer. And Sephiroth to the settling of everything. Alrighty. Now, of the two teams that we've got right now, okay, it says think about the sequences of five targets and beat them. If a part dies, change to a different party. Okay, that's what it's saying. Basically, what you need to do here is start weakening parts of uh, Sephiroth. Hold on, let's big guard real quick. What you need to do is think about weakening the parts of Sephiroth. That way, we can make them more vulnerable to be beaten. Now, uh, necessarily, the core is the weakness, but you want to aim for the head up here. Okay. Let's start working on the arms real quick. Alright, even better. Now, this is going to be a little boring. I'm not even going to lie. This part of the battles will be a little bit boring. I'm not really worried about the party members. So. I'll tell you right now, that part of Sephiroth does not do a lot of damage. Okay. You're going to hear that a lot. And I do mean a lot. Speed it up a little bit. Not really. He's going to keep healing himself. So let's focus on the torso, shall we? Right magic dead. Okay, not really worried about the party. Let's hit him with Bahamut Zero. But first, the Gunge Lance will hit first. This is Sephiroth, of course. So, all I can say right now, Sephiroth will not be a pushover. This form that he has, however, kinda is. Okay. That was unusual. I'm gonna try to focus on the torso. Here we go. Give it some good. Now, I've never really figured this out, but that little mi the little middle section of Sephiroth, the core if you will, I've never figured out a way to damage it. Till this day, I've never understood how to figure out the, you know, the way of damaging the core. Now, he's going to keep healing himself. There's nothing we can do really to stop that other than just hit him harder and harder. Okay, we all took a little bit of damage.
And Sephiroth is getting too confident right now. So, we're going to shut his confidence down. Here we go. Get him with Anger Max. Alrighty, do something good, baby. Please do not hit that center portion. Stick to his body. Of course it doesn't. Oh! He finally goes down. I am so sorry that that fight took so long, everybody. But, save for a little uh, magic of video editing, I was able to save you some time. And as you can hear... And welcome to the final battle. Ladies and gentlemen, Savior Sephiroth. Okay. Now the first thing we need to do is get set up because Sephiroth himself is going to do the same thing. Unfortunately for me, I don't have Dispel with me. So I'm going to use Big Guard and cast Regan. Shadow Flare. Oh, hey, we know that move. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine, shall we? Now, Sephiroth will hit hard. Not weapon or any kind of other hard. I'm talking, he will hit hard. And since he's already been defensively able, we're going to have to hit him even harder. Oh, uh, the one-winged angel hits. Now, one thing you need to be careful for is his regular attacks. He can damage you and paralyze you at the same time. He also has a multitude of status effects that he can use as well, too. Not to mention the only enemy in this game that actually has a summon spell, the Supernova. But since Cloud's been paralyzed, let's remedy that. Let's see. Hopefully we can also remedy some other status effects while we're at too. Uh-oh. That's not good. Not good at all. That usually means he's getting ready to start summoning. Well, while we're at it, though, we'll hit him with a couple of summons of our own. Here we go again. Now, here's another thing you also need to take into uh, consideration as well, too. The higher that you level up, the higher Sephiroth's uh, stats will go, too. So his stats will go anywhere from 80,000 to 400,000.
Pale Horse. And there goes the status effects. So let's keep hitting them, shall we? You can feel the tension in this fight too, especially with one winged angel playing in the background. Oh no. Now for those who have never seen Supernova, this right here is one of the most overpowered <laughs> summons I've ever seen. It does a grand total of 90% damage every single time. Not only that, it doesn't kill you, but levels you to about 90 to 95% of your HP left over. On top of all that, it riddles you with tons and tons of status effects. It's on par with Bad Breath by the Marlboro. That's not a plant anymore. It's been declassified as one. And there's Saturn. Goes right near Saturn. Blows up the rings. Prepare your anus, Jupiter. Oh yeah. Biggest planet in the solar system. And turned into a donut. Now, another thing you also gotta remember too. Sephiroth's MP is restored at the beginning of every one of his turns. Which means he never runs out of MP. Here it comes, and all you gotta do is look at that scene right there. It really goes to show how badass he really is. That looks like a scene from DBZ, doesn't it? Just look at the damage. And even a good counterattack does it good too. Cast the flare. While we're at it, we're going to use W item. We're going to use a Maiden's Kiss. And do we even have any Echo Screens? Oh lord. And it looks like we're going to have to use a Phoenix Down. And we have a very confused Barret. And a mini Barret, if you will. He's all adorable. Okay, and Sephiroth comes down from his throne. Okay, now he is no longer confused. Let's cast Flare once again. And let's keep casting Cure, shall we? Uh-oh, look at that. Now what he has done is gotten rid of all of our status uh, support. In other words, Regan and Haste have been taken out. So let's uh let's give Cloud a hero drink. And apparently he's been silenced. <laughs> it's Baby Barrett! Okay, let's see. Do you give him an elixir? Uh oh, looks like she's been paralyzed too. So let's cast Big Guard again, shall we? And look who's getting ready to fly. And he 
here comes the pale horse attack. Nothing but status effects all over again. If he's gonna summon, let's beat him to it, shall we? Let's hit him with Alexander. Well, yet another supernova. I will see you whenever we survive. Okay, now we're back. It seems that we've survived, and it seems that we've uh, done a really good job of recovering. On top of all that, that we've got all our limit breaks. So let's let Alexander do some work. We have a very confused team, too. But that's okay. That's alright. And we're gonna use Omni Slash. Oh, have we won? It appears so. Would you look at that? It appears that Sephiroth has been beaten. You know what I love about this death scene? It looks like how Kefka dies on Final Fantasy VI. Exactly like how Kefka dies in FF6. Just disintegrating. But one thing I remember on the PS1 version, the music doesn't play during all this. Battle is over. This is all we could do. Wait, what about Holer? What's gonna happen to the planet? That I don't know. Isn't the rest up to the planet? Yep, we've done all we could. Poor Yuffie just sitting there. She's laying there spread eagle. We did our best. That's it. Let's go home proud. Let's walk away. Uh oh. I feel it. Blah. He's still here. Still, he's laughing. Uh oh. And apparently, Cloud has gone back into the live stream. What do you make of all that? Back into the live stream. And one headache of a trip. Huh? Oh, and there he is waiting.
this right here is considered the final, well, the true final battle. Now, regardless if you have not, if you have not learned Omni Slash, this will finish him off. I just love the cinematics to this. Well, what's left over of them is no more. Would you look at that? Oh no shit, PS4. Leave it to my PS4 to fuck that up. Could it be? Is that arid sand? Oh, no, it's Tifa's. Uh oh. Tifa falls. I think I'm beginning to understand. An answer from the planet. To the promised land. I think I can meet her here. Oh, I don't say that in front of Tifa. Dude, she is in love with you. Yeah, let's go meet her. Hey, where is everybody? Hey! Hey, y'all! <laughs> they all seem to be safe, too. But, what are we gonna do? They really should be moving, too. And that means that this place will... Oh, Lady Luck, don't fail me now. And <laughs> the cigarette falls out of his mouth. I think Lady Luck just failed. Yep. That, that happened. See, that's a good kind of explosion. And there goes the high wind. Ugh! Shit! Whoa! Here's that the high wind is also a... Not just an airship, but a plane. Meanwhile, at Calm Town. And there's Marlene. Nineties Japanese anime. Well, three D if you will.
And there's Meteor. Heading right towards Midgar. Look at the devastation. And there comes Holy. Aerith's prayer. Cosmo Canyon. Apparently, Holy's not doing the best of jobs, if you will. Hmm. Hey, wait a damn minute. What's gonna happen to Midgar? We can't let that happen. I had everyone take refuge in the slum. But the way things are now... <laughs> it's too late for Holy. Meteor's approaching the planet. Holy's having the opposite effect. Forget Midgar. We've got to worry about the planet. Huh. That appears to be the live stream. This has to be Aerith's doing. Hey, what the hell is that? Live stream. And the people of Calm open all their windows. Holy and the live stream. <laughs> Holy live stream, Batman. Five hundred years later. Oh, so the party's long dead. But who? Whoa. I stand corrected. Only one person's alive. It's Nanaki himself. And he's got two young cubs with him.
Nanaki fully grown. Looks like Midgar is a ruin now. <laughs> oh, what a classic. And it's going to be remade. Well, that's it, everybody. Juggalo 972 plays Final Fantasy VII. Now, while I'm here, I want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed and everybody who has supported this channel as well, too. Both on my personal and on this channel as well, too. I want to thank uh, Misunderstood91. I want to thank uh, my friend Kirsten and a bunch of other people who I cannot seem to remember at the time as well too and if I forgot y'all please forgive me <laughs> there's still plenty more to do here in FF7 as well and uh, I'm sorry that it took so long to get back uh, you know, into this playthrough as well too I'm a little rusty as you can tell on my commentary but you know the next adventure that I plan on going on with everybody it's uh... it hasn't been decided yet because you know, this has been my main focus for the past few months. You know, and pushing this out, you know, two to three times a week, it, it's kind of taxing. But I don't regret any of it, though, because I've been having a blast doing this. Just doing this. So, from the top and the bottom of my heart, Juggalo972 plays. Thanks, every last one of y'all. And uh, stay tuned, though, because there's more to come. Much love, and I'll see you later. Peace!